Whew, okay, are we ready for this? Most dangerous animal in the game. There we go, we got it. Welcome back, my friends, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we got a lot of stuff to get done. So, um, spent several actual in game days off camera just gathering stuff. And look at this. We find, whoops, I was going to show you that too. We got a full stack of nails, you guys. First time ever uh, for me to have a full stack of nails. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, so, we're going to be doing some building. Uh, we got uh, over a full stack of wood plus 74 planks on top of that. Um, let's grab these pl uh, wood, uh, this wood here rather, and turn those into blanks. And as you can see, as I mentioned, I was going to do, I created a new chest and filled it almost completely full with canteens. Um, just because we have to go so far to get water. And it looks like we need four more. So let's just grab um, that, two, three, four. There we go. And we still have lots of cordage and lots of scrap metal left over, even after filling this entire thing with water. Okay, so let's drink one of those, <clears throat> and then uh, we're just going to take everything, but we'll put these four back in. Uh, we'll get the four that we're filling up <clears throat> now, and that will, and then we'll go down and fill them up. Um, and then after that, I want to start cranking out planks because we're going to do some building today. We're also going to go shoot ourselves a mountain lion um to get some sinew and i am working on um i'm working on filling the well we're already full never mind turn this off oh it's already off it turned itself off and we almost have a full thing of power so that's that's really cool too just been cranking out the uh you know the generator uh, and stuff and um i think we're gonna make the oven today i want to get the oven going because it's got some good food uh, so yeah, building oven cougar canteens. That's on the agenda for today. We got a lot of stuff to do. Let's get rolling here, man. Let's get rolling. I'm just gonna throw that in there. Okay. So let's get the water. We'll, we'll go down to the pond to get the water filled first. Um, I want to see if. Yep. Huey, Louie, and dumb shit are still down there being stupid, so that's fine. Let them do their thing. I don't give a shit. It's not my problem. <laughs> if they want to be derp and not attack me and waste their own time, I am fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. Shut up, Bear. Okay, so let's go down to the pond here. We will, of course, loot any crates along the way. Ooh. Oh, shit, we got a bear after us. Waited a little too long there, didn't we? That's right. Let's go off around this way. Oh, did he give up on us already? He did. Okay. He did. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of room for crates stuff at the moment. Got to be careful of our buddies over there coming down to fish. Um, so, yeah, let's get these filled up. Better be careful not to double press E or I'll drink this and get infected. But this will, you know, save me from having to get water all the freaking time. Just such a pain in the butt. All right, I don't think I'm gonna dive for anything. Well, unless there's a pearl down here. I'm pearls, I'm collecting pearls, I'm collecting sandstone. I haven't done anything with them yet. I am collecting um, kelp too, but right now, because we're so full, the only thing I'm, I would grab right now is a pearl if we see one and I don't see one. So we'll worry about the kelp and all that stuff later. All right, let's head back to the base, get these waters cooking up, and then we're gonna go after a mountain lion. That's the next thing on the agenda. And I killed a mountain lion off camera with my double barrel without using the blind. And I did it, it was a level three too on top of that. And I did it with normal shotgun shells. But as you can see, I've made a couple of slugs just to make extra sure that we can kill a mountain lion on foot without using the blind um so moving forward that's how we will be taking down mountain lions man there are bears all over the place let's go up this way there's a wolf i really hate passing up these chests but i mean that's about the only thing i'm willing to give up um 
We can't kill the wolf because we don't have no room for his giblets. Unless I killed him and came back for him, I guess. Could do that. <coughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, an episode soon here. No, don't come this way, asshole. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Let's grab the nails. And the rest of that stuff I can live without for the moment. I'm gonna do an episode. Uh, a looting episode with you guys. I, I, I know I haven't been doing hardly any of that on camera. You know, because it's just another chest, man. Alright, we'll take nails. If there's nails in here, we'll take them. Uh, yep. Man, I really want that stuff, too. <laughs> well, we can come back for it if it's still there. Um... I know I know a lot of you guys like to see that, and, and I do, too. I mean, I, I, I've watched... Um, other YouTubers play this game, and, and it's kind of cool to just see them go out and loot. Um, and I'll, I'll try and do a little more of that. We're not gonna we're not gonna do a lot of it because you know after a while it is gonna get boring, and some people probably don't want to see it all that much. But um, some of you do, and so yeah, we'll do we'll do a looting episode here one of these times here very soon. How did that not get f filled? I must have missed it. All right, darn it, darn it, Jim. Okay, let's put all the rest of these in here. Uh, that'll be a nighttime project uh, for me to, you know, get those filled up. We have... I must be short... Oh, yeah, no, I must be short one. I don't know. I, I don't even know how that happened, but it happened, so... We'll keep this other one with us in case we go near water. And we're still making the boards. Let's take the boards that we currently have and just put in here for now. And, all right, so we got our two shotgun slugs. We have a lock pick with us. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I did hit some uh, locked crates, and here is here are the clips for those. Okay, let's get something to eat, and then we're going to head out here. So we're going to eat that steak. And, oh, look at that. We got our max health increase. That's amazing. That's why I want to make the oven, too, by the way, because uh, the oven's going to give us food that's going to increase our health cap or help uh, towards that. Let's, okay, I don't want to need another steak for just that smaller amount of protein. Let's pop a rabbit in here and do another round of water. Grab the water out of here, too. Oops. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six. We'll put two of those in there. Three of those in there. Looks like we're done making our planks. I would take the planks uh, or uh, the materials with us and start making the structures for building, but uh, since we're going uh, cougar hunting, I don't want to take the chance of possibly, you know, losing that stuff, so... Uh, all right. Was there something else I was going to do? I can't remember. Probably. I can't remember. Uh, let's top off the... the Jenny. And we'll grab this rabbit and chow down. Looks like the water is done, so we might as well... Uh, do another round of those, too. Six, one, two, three, four, five. You know what? Let's actually drink one of those two, and we'll take that with us. All right, I think we're ready to go. Uh, we need uh, some carbs, um, so let's eat these strawberries. And by the way, it is June now, so that is nice. Good. Now we can start picking strawberries. Let's have one more. Uh, blueberry and we should be good all right let's go bag ourselves a cougar you guys let's do it uh, i'd like to run back up here if possible and see if we can get the rest of those crates oh there's a crate there too 
We don't want to get too close to there or Huey, Louie, and dumb shit will aggro on us. There we go. A few more nails. And let's see if those crates are still up here that we that we left behind. Uh, oh, there's another crate too. We're not supposed to be doing crates right now. We're supposed to be doing cougars. But you know what? When crates show up, you loot them. They are always the highest priority. Always, always, always. No matter what else you're doing, you've got to get crates. Sometimes I focus strictly on crates, and then other times I will, um... You know, be out for wood or hunting, but I'll still grab the crates when I come across them, of course. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to leave in real life for a bit and logged out of the game. So we were looking for those chests that we left behind, but I, I'm going to say they're probably not here. Because I think when you log in and out like that, it just resets everything. But we found another chest, so there you go. All right, let's head on up this way. We are looking for a mountain lion. We need some more sinew and all the other goodies that we can get from them. It will pop up over this side. I thought I heard his little telltale purring. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, let's fill these guys up while we're here. There's a bunny. Nothing over here. Let's see if we can spot something down along this way. No, I don't see anything. What about around this boulder here? Okay, let's hop on up over the mountain and go on to the other side and see if we can locate a cat over there. It's June now, so it's nice and warm. Plus, we have warm weather armor on. You know what? Yeah, we need to. We're gonna need to start thinking about repairing that after one or two more battles with some hunters. So let's go back, kind of around through here. Oh, shit! I hear one. It's right there. All right, what we're gonna do is we're going to click on this little button here and switch to our shotgun slugs. All right, and then we're gonna use our lever action and try and get a headshot first to soften him up really good and then pull him to us and take him out with shotgun. We want a nice clear line of sight for us to shoot him and him to run at us and hopefully he doesn't um you know try and jump or anything Whew, okay are we ready for this most dangerous animal in the game there we go we got it well actually probably the moose is the most dangerous animal in the game but this guy has got to be right on up there. All right, let's see what we get. A nice full inventory, including five sinew. Okay, we will take that. Very nice. All right, so let's... Um, I think what we'll do now is head back wouldn't mind actually bagging another one if we can find one pretty quickly I don't want to spend too much more time doing this because I want to get some building done today let's just take a quick look see along you know this area and if we don't see anything then we'll head back
Might as well take him out too. I wonder if we can one-shot him with our lever action if we get a headshot. Not quite. Close though. We took him down quite a ways. And let's nab this guy too. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think I want to waste a rifle round. Didn't need to shoot that many times, but it's okay. Strawberries. Okay, I'm going to go get cleaned up and make a few building pieces. We're going to make some walls and some stairs and that sort of thing. And then uh, we will get some building done. Doggone it, there's a bear right in our yard. Son of a bitch. All right, well, he's going to potentially be a problem, so let's deal with him too. Man, I love this double barrel shotgun. It is just a beast. Let's wash our hands, and we're going to split the fat in half, put that there, put the other fat here, and we should top off the stoves as well. And All right, let me do some inventory management, and then I'll bring you guys back and we'll do some building. All right, guys, we are back. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, I put together uh, a few building pieces here that I know we're going to need, and then we, we'll probably have to do a couple other things, too. Uh, so let's get started with... Yeah, it looks like those guys are still over there. Uh, let's get started with this side over here first. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. And what is that? I don't want any, anything mean and nasty sticking up on us. Oh, there's a couple of deer. Let's see if we can bag ourselves a deer. Get the antlers. And I think they give sinew too. I'm not sure, but they definitely give antlers. We can use, use those. I don't want to get too much closer than this because they have a really long aggro range. Wow! That didn't scare the other one off? Holy crap. Okay. Here, let's go this way. Beautiful. Be you a tiffle. All right, two deer, man. I'll take it. Okay, let's go take these back, wash our hands, and then try and do some building. <laughs> we keep getting sidetracked, but we're getting sidetracked by for good reasons. Okay, now we should be able to get get to some building here. Let's go back up here, and we're going to start on this side. It's going to get dark here pretty soon, so I want to kind of hurry. I pretty much know what I want to do. Uh, let's grab one of these, and we'll put it right in the center there. We're going to put a doorway here. We're going to put a window here. And we're going to put a wall here. Now, uh, oh, I guess we need a, an actual door too, don't we? 
Yeah. And we're going to actually need two doors. So let's just make two right now. <clears throat> so we can stand here and shoot through there. We could even... Oh. Oh. We can squeeze through there. Yeah. Do we want to keep it that way? I mean, the hunters aren't going to be able to get through. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it that way, actually. That could be handy. Plus, we could come over to this corner and shoot out this way, um, too. We needed to. <clears throat> okay. Let's put the doorway... Oh, I guess it's already on the toolbar or the thing. Now, I'm, I'm going to probably go too high with this, actually. And the reason for that is because if I'm a hunter and I'm standing right about here, I, I could still lob grenades or shoot grenade arrows over the top of this. Now, and that's not to say that they will... Um, but they should be able to, so let's just assume that that could still happen. All right, so we got that side done. Now, this side's going to be a little different, so I'm going to need to actually make another stair. And I was noticing that these wood foundation stairs, you know, the narrow ones, they're actually cheaper to make than the stair stairs. These take 10 nails. These only take seven. Uh, and of course, these take cordage and the other don't, but who cares about cordage? I mean, that's just the easiest thing in the world to make, right? Uh, or obtain, I should say. So let's craft another one of these. Yeah, we're losing our light. Hate building in the dark, but you know, let's just keep going as long as we can get away with it here. So we're gonna put these right about here and want them to be pretty close to flush. And I think I'm going to put that there. Let's put the next one here. And we can easily get up to that. And then what we're going to do... I might have to adjust this a little bit. But let's make one of these half ceilings. So we have like a little platform here. And, uh, you know, so that way we have a landing for the stairs. I mean, we can jump up here. But I'd like to have a little landing there anyways. Just in case we flub it or something. Okay, and then we'll put this, uh, let's turn it this way. And we want it to snap right there. Okay, cool. And then we can just come right on up here. Perfect. So since our stairs are right here, we're probably going to want our doorway. We could put the doorway here because that tree's in the way. I mean, we could still put it here, but having the tree there might be a little weird. On the other hand, having the tree there in front of the door might be useful because of cover. Yeah, maybe we will do that. Okay, so let's put the doorway here. I can always move it later, you know, if I, I change my mind for some reason. All right, I think over here, if we were to put a half wall, we could still kind of shoot out that way, but let's hold off on that for just a second. What I think I want to do here is, um, let's craft another window, actually. And while we're waiting for that, we're going to put a wall in here and a wall in here. And here I'm thinking a half wall. We'll save those for the other side. Uh, yeah. Because then we can kind of shoot out here, but still duck underneath the wall as needed. If I put a window in here, it might be kind of hard to see out, you know, right out that direction. Okay, so we'll put this window here. And that means, you know, we can shoot this way. We can shoot this way. And with this half wall here, we can also, you know, shoot through here and duck under cover as needed. All right, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking that's good. Um, <coughs> the hunters aren't gonna be able to get up here. They should be able to get up there, but we know that they can't. But again, for the same reason, let's put a half wall here, so we can still kind of shoot that way as needed as well. All right. So we'll get that done. I still have 189 nails even after all of this. And 36 boards. Plus we have I have a lot more wood too. 
Okay, so let's pop the half wall in there. And here again, fire, duck, fire, duck, etc. And, you know, I, I kind of doubt the hunters would be out on the rock anyways. They almost always come around here, but they might be, you know. So, yeah, that should work good. That should work good. All right, you guys. Well, I think what I'm going to do is cut the camera here and wait till morning. And then we'll go work on that other side. So I might just go out and cut some wood or something. We'll see. Oh, that was not smart. That was not smart. No Surrey Bob. Son of a bitch. Maybe we might want to put some rails up there. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. All right. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. It's almost morning. I've been spending uh, the night cooking. Uh, so let's grab more meat here and get that cooking uh, we're gonna also get our uh, lever action rifle repaired it's getting down there and man I would just cry if if we lost that rifle especially with it being upgraded it's so expensive to make it in the first place all right so to repair this we're gonna let the shotgun go a little bit longer uh, but to repair this we need uh, boards which we have I've been making more boards too we need three scrap and six zinc one two three scrap and one, two, three, four, five, six zinc. Okay, that should be enough to repair our absolutely lovely lever action rifle. You know, we probably better repair the pistol and the bow while we're at it. So let's repair this. And the bow needs that stuff. Okay, good deal. We got that done. Uh, like I said, we'll let the shotgun go a little bit longer. The magnum is... Yeah, it's getting close, but we we have a, probably can use that a couple more times, too, before we uh, completely repair it. All right, so I don't want to forget that those are in there. Let's see. I have some crops that are ready, so let's pick these. Um, tomatoes, and I think everything else is still... Uh, no, we should have... Yeah, the carrot should be done. There we go. I'm gonna put that in here. Now, um, our our equipment goal for today's episode is to make the stove. So let's do that first before we go out and finish uh, the rest of our building. All right. So we're gonna put that stuff in there and that stuff in there. Um, I'll worry about the rest of that later. But we do need to actually eat. So let's have a pork chop. Yum yum. We'll have a pork chop. Oh, nice. Maximum maximum stamina increase that's a beautiful thing we'll top off our protein with a protein bar let's have like three blueberries and maybe a tomato actually no i want to start saving this stuff for the for the good food um yeah well that gets us topped off anyway so we're good okay let's put the cotton over here and we have th 23 pieces of cotton all right you guys so we're gonna make ourselves an oven and uh, so what we need is 20 scrap, 30 electronics, and 6 ingots. So 20 of those, 30 of those. We have no ingots at all. Wow, that's going to be kind of expensive. So what do we need? We're going to need 60 iron and 30 copper. We got it. We got it. It's just going to be a little bit of expensive, but we got to do... Oh, I have gunpowder in here. We got to do what we got to do. We're also going to need to make the pots and pans, uh, which themselves are going to require a bunch of ingots. So, yeah, we'll do what we can. Uh, all right, so we needed six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it was a little bit later, like a couple more days later, I might go raid the hunters for ingots. But we need to give them a little bit more time to recover because it hasn't been that long since we last uh, raided those dudes. Okay, let's put the gunpowder in there. Look at that, guys. Whoops. Full stack of gunpowder. Hot damn. Okay, uh, we'll put this stuff back in here. Let's get some more iron going because we need to. Um, yeah, because we're going to have to make more ingots. Uh, let's check our power. So power's good. Mass is down a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so to make this guy, uh, like I said, we're just waiting for... Oh, I've <laughs> I put the electronics and uh, that stuff back. No, we need to keep that with us. How much longer are you going to be? A little bit longer. Okay. How about if we go put up a couple of walls while we're waiting? 
there's nothing going on in here that I have to keep an eye on, right? And we're good on nutrition. Okay. I got boards, nails, and cordage. Looks like we're good out here. So we got that, that side done, except for that I am... Oh, for goodness sakes. Rain. Uh, I am going to make those double high, uh, but probably not today. So the plan for over here is... Hmm... I mean, we might as well just go right up here, because, I mean, we can already just go right up here. We don't even... Well, yeah, we should probably put some stairs in there, because we're going to put a door there, right? So... Well, no, yeah, yeah, we are. Well, it's going to look nicer that way anyway, so let's just do that. Okay, and then we're going to need a door. We're going to need probably at least two windows on this setup. And we already have two solid walls, so let's see, we have... This is going to be door, wall, window, wall, window, wall, wall. So I think we're going to need to make one more wall after that, I think. Let's pop this up there. So, I mean, you know, we don't really need this here at all, because we can just... Oh, you know what, though? We, yeah, we're not going to want to put a door here. Right. Okay, so the door... I guess we'll put the door here. And this should just be a solid wall here. Like so. Okay. If I... take this back off... Oh, shit, I deleted it. Why do I do that? I don't understand, you guys, why I just hit the delete button. I, I, it, it, I don't know why I do it, but it's so frustrating. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. That's all I got to say about it is shit. Okay, uh, we're going to need, I think, two more walls. Um, Two more, I think. Oh, for Pete's sake, man. Okay, so we got a window here so we can shoot that way and that way. And we're going to put uh, another window, I guess, here. Yeah, I think so. Man, that's frustrating. I mean, because stuff is so precious in this game. You know, these resources. And when you waste something like that, you just, you just want to, like, cuss. <laughs> you know? It's just frustrating, man. So frustrating. Oop, blip, blip, blip. Okay. So let's put this in here. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to really do anything here. Now, theoretically, the hunters could stand up on top of there and shoot down at us. But if we're going to double this up anyways, which we are, then we would, that, we would even prevent that from happening. All right, let's make a door here. Do we... Oh, you know what? We might actually want to put that s stair over there. Sounds like I got a wolf on my ass. Not quite on my ass. Fortunately, he did not infect us. Though I do have stuff for that if it does happen, but we don't want it to happen. It sucks when it happens. Okay. Yeah, we, we actually are going to want stairs here because, yeah, especially if we're coming in, you know, with something chasing us. Man, I'm pissed that I broke those. Okay, well, what it is what it is. Let's move on. Let's just move on, man, and try our damnedest not to do it next time. Good luck with that. For Pete's sake. Yeah, so we'll pop this in here, and then... All that really remains for our barricades, our walls, they're really more walls than barricades now, I'd say. Snap it, snap, 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 snap. There you go. So that way we can get in there. We need a uh, door too. Is to make these double high. 
And I was thinking about doing like a catwalk so I could be up above them, but I don't think we really need to do that. I think we'll just use the windows to to fight them. Now, I might do something similar down there too. But that's working so well. I think we're going to just leave it as it is. I might change it up later when we get to the point where we really have some more resources to play with. But I think what I want to do now is I want to start working on the base. Uh, getting the interior of the base set up the way that I want it to be. But eventually it's my plan to double, you know, make these double high. Uh, like, like I talked about on this side and also over there too. But let's see what happens with the next attack. If, as, especially if they're still lobbing, you know, grenades and molotovs into the yard. Um, then we will definitely make a double high. If it becomes evident that that's not happening or rarely happening, then uh, I could probably get to that. Eh, maybe not. No, it's too high. I'd have to build a foundation up there to get to it. Um, then maybe we'll leave it the way it is and call it good. So, as I mentioned earlier, I am expecting to have to do a little bit more repairing now because now they're going to directly damage those walls, but I'm okay with that because I, you know, this is the way this needs to be set up. This is the way it's supposed to be set up. Okay. And I'm not worried about them crouching to get through here because... Oh, I guess I can crouch through here. I thought I couldn't get through there the last time I tried it. Huh. I can't get through there, though. Definitely can't get through there. Well, see, the thing is, though, is there's not really any pieces that I know of that I could put here to hang down and block that. We'd have to put a whole nother foundation in here, probably. Which we could do. It'd be a little expensive, but I suppose we could. I don't know. We'll, let's not worry about that, though. That's purely an aesthetic thing, not something that we have to do. And I guess you could kind of make the same argument over here. But we're going to start with this, and we'll see how it goes. And like I said, later on, we have a, a few more resources at our disposable. Uh, disposable. <laughs> at our disposal, uh, we may make some further improvements. But I want to focus now on the base. However, we are out of time, um, but before I let I didn't mean to do that. Damn it, Jim. Wash hands, not drink. Son of a bitch. Okay, I guess we're taking our our thing after all. That should give you a chance of infection, not a guaranteed. Or maybe it is a chance and I just rolled badly. I don't know. Anyway, we got the stuff to make a new one. It's just, it just goes back to what I was talking about earlier about everything being precious and not wasting anything but most of the waste comes from stupid ass maneuvers like that getting too going too fast and not thinking about what i'm doing that sort of thing okay anyway um stove we're gonna do the stove uh, or the oven and then it's time to let you find people go let's put these two steaks in here uh, we got some fat that can go in here so we need these ingots that we made, and let's make ourselves an oven. Boom! There it goes. I don't think we can actually use it though until we also make pots and pans. Uh, so if you guys don't know what this does, it lets us make dishes like soups and bacon and eggs and mashed potatoes and that sort of thing. And not only is that food better food-wise, but it also gives us more points to increase our caps. Uh, more wellness points, I guess, is what you would call those. So for now, I'm going to... Let's do this. Let's move this guy over here. Remember, all of this is temporary. We are going to build out our base, make it look nice, have some rooms, and everything is going to be really snazzy. But for now, uh, let's just put the stove here. Uh, right next to the refrigerator. And there she is. Okay, yeah. So see, we, can, um, we can't do anything yet because we need to put the equipment in. Um, and then we can do upgrades for power efficiency and that sort of thing. And that doesn't look seriously expensive. Um, but I think what I want to make first is the, the pot so that we can make like tomato soup. And I think, I don't know what that is, clam chowder or something. And I think those are mashed potatoes. Those are boiled eggs. Jam. 
and then baking is like the most expensive so that's you know we'll do that later but let's focus right now I think on the pot all right so to make the pot that's also pretty damned expensive a boiling pan uh, yeah look that seven friggin adhesive and then another six metal ingots again uh, I have I have it uh, it's ex just expensive so six more metal ingots and then we got to build up you know power and all that sort of thing again too how much mass does that require only 200 mass that's still a lot though all right so what we're gonna do is grab this and get the Ginny going again and get that power built back up and what I would like to do it, hopefully in the next episode we will be able to make the pot or the the cooking pan what's it called again that's a frying pan that's a boiling pan I, I, I would call that more of a pot but that's okay we'll call it a boiling pan if you want to and um, then we can start making some of that food it's gonna be awesome all right you guys I need to let you go I think we may may have gone a little long here but we got a lot of stuff done this was a great episode a uh, very good episode we got lots lots of good stuff done got some good resources that sort of thing and we wasted a few too because i'm a numbs call but you know that happens sometimes all right guys i'm gonna let you go thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye